What are you doing, kitty, kitty, kitty? Kitty, 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 kitty. Come here, kitty. All right, well, here's just a quick update. I just got the NFT tube that I wanted to install done. Went ahead and put it in kind of like a window uh, planter looking type thing, but it has turned out perfect. It's perfectly level, and then the tube itself has a uh, just a slight tilt down to the left it looks worse than, than it is on the camera um, but it's only like an eighth of an inch over four feet so it'll be perfect to put the drain in the bottom left hand corner of this picture and then this top part I'll have the water actually feed into there it will be capped off and I'll be able to put um, you know, just some normal pink and white filter media, and then drill holes along here, and it'll drain here back into the system. And we'll grow some lettuce. I'm gonna try a strawberry, but uh, just a quick update: the this coming Thursday, I should have the frame for the other grow bed built, and. We will be on to the next phase at the one year anniversary, hopefully. We'll be right on time, actually, and, and uh, double the size of the system on that day. So stay tuned. Alright, here's the update for the NTF NFT add-on. Sorry. Kitty, 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 kitty. What are you doing? Uh, couldn't help it. Saw a tomato plant and a little bit of cilantro, so I threw those in there while it's going through all the transitions. Trimmed up the plants again. Basil, this one basil plant, this first one right there, has been in since the beginning of this bed. And this Thai basil just goes nuts. But, anyways, I had made a um, framework out of leftover. Uh, one by two that I have and it's squished in there nice and tight so the pipe doesn't turn at all and there's the three inch baskets I have one I've used this crazy elbow so that I could uh, tap lines on the end over here for another one and then this will get a cap, but I'm going to put a um, four inch basket in there with filter media so that it'll be getting filtering through there also. And so far, just the, the test run of it, it's uh, feeding back through the drain. And uh, it's hard to tell, but it's how clean the water is, it's really hard to tell. If there's actually any water in there. And we'll grow lettuce and spinach out of the front of this. Concept being <clears throat> that the roots are, you know, in the water and they're denitrifying the water and using the nutrients, uh, the nitrate that they need. And then the water all returns to the system. So it's extra, extra denitrification that's going on. But also, what ends up happening is since there's air 
in in the tube the the roots will be getting a lot more oxygen so they uh, will uh, grow faster and now that the weather in a couple weeks should start cooling down this will work really well because lettuce and the and kale and those different types of things like the colder weather uh, Ideally, from a seedling going in here to harvest will be probably about 22 days. And then it just returns through here. It's hard to see. But there's a clear tube right here. And it's just speeding water back, right back to the system. And the whole thing came together pretty quick once I had my idea. And it turned out looking pretty nice. Right angles, you're not just seeing the pipe, you know, you get some of the framework. So it seems to work pretty good. So, uh, step one the NFT tube is almost done, just a couple little modifications on the cap end down there. And then uh, this coming weekend, I should be getting the framework done for this second grow bed. But this is basically what it's going to be like. Uh, for the one year anniversary so hang in there thanks for watching and uh, we'll get back to you